I'm back with some new books. Greetings, my name is Nina. Welcome back to the Metal Book Tavern. This book haul video is coming out relatively fast because, well, I film a book haul once every few months. This time it came comes out fast, well, because I went to Italy and I bought quite a lot of books there. And only four, only four I bought here in Georgia. After I have listed all the books, I will go a little through the stationery that I bought in uh, Italy. In this video I have 12 new books. To be honest, I lack the patience to wait for 12 books these days. I, f I do have a rule uh, that I have to wait from 9 to 12 books to film a book haul video. And uh, I have been filming uh, book hauls with 9 or 10 or maximum 11 books, but I lacked patience for, to wait for 12 books. Now that I have been to Italy, I bought a lot of books at once and yeah, 12 books. Let's go through them. So after my previous book haul, the first book that I bought was a book that I randomly saw in a bookstore. It's a book that by an author I have already read. I read the annotation and it was sort of a parody retelling of Phantom of the Opera and I was like music themes and a retelling of Phantom of the Opera by a famous author. Yes, I'm in. And the book is Masquerade by Terry Pratchett. This is a part of the Witches series, the first being Equal Rights, which is one of my favorite books. Before I bought this one, I googled whether I can or cannot read uh, Terry Pratchett books out of order and I found out that I can. This is actually book 5 in the Witches series. I don't have uh, the rest of the books, I only have the first and the fifth one. Yeah, this is definitely the fifth one. I do recommend reading Equal Rights because this is such a fun book. The Opera House in Ang Mor Pork is a home to music, theatrics and a harmless mask, the ghost who lurks behind the scenes, but now a set of mysterious backstage murders may just stop the show. Yeah, a Phantom of the Opera parody. Yeah, this is what got me into the book and also had I bought it and read it earlier, I would have included it in my Books with Music Themes video. I'm sorry I forgot how I named my own video. Sorry. Anyway, let's go to the next book. Next the book is uh, actually a graphic novel by a Norwegian author. I randomly entered a Sulakauri bookstore here in Tbilisi, just randomly. I did not expect anything and at the entrance I saw this graphic novel. It looked very cute, it, its pages looked very Disney-like and I checked it and at first I did think that this was a Georgian a comic book. I thought the author was Georgian, but no, the author turned out to be Norwegian, but I still got the graphic novel. And the graphic novel is Journey to the Valley of the Trolls. This is the first graphic novel in the series of Northern Lights. One of the reasons I got myself this graphic novel is because this looks very Disney. And I do like Disney drawing style. So basically this series is about a girl named Sonia. She is visited by the, this very strange boy. She doesn't know him, but she feels like she does. So the boy is from another world and Sonia follows him to that another world. So basically that's the premise of the first graphic novel. To be honest, I know that in Georgian the first three graphic novels are released. I saw them at the store and I would love to buy graphic novels two and three, and I hope they publish the rest of the series. So at the beginning of this year, I decided to face the truth. I can't read properly in Georgian. I have always read in Georgian very slowly. It, I faced difficulties and I decided not to deceive myself and no longer buy books in Georgian unless uh, there's something exceptional. However, graphic novels and comics in Georgian are allowed. I can read them. The English translation of this graphic novel exists, so feel free to check it out. So this was published by Norla, Norwegian Literature Abroad. 
Okay, the next two books I actually regret buying, not because they are bad, not because I didn't want them, but because I regret buying the edition. But yeah, this is what happens when you buy cheap copies. Okay, the first book is the book that I really want to read. I wanted it for a long time, and this is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. I finally learned to pronounce his name. Okay, he isn't the only Japanese author in this video. More are to come. Why I regret buying this copy? Well, because just look. I just feel that this copy is so cheap, and in Italy I, I actually saw the original copy, and yeah. On one hand, I do kind of regret buying this, I was impatient, and it was also cheap, and blah 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 blah. But on the other hand, buying this copy here allowed me to buy more books, more different books in Italy. Okay, I haven't read this book yet, and if I like it, and, I, uh, and if I would love to keep it, I would replace the edition, but for now I don't keep it on my shelves. What is this book is about? This is actually the first book in the series. So you enter a magical coffee shop in Japan, and uh, when you order a coffee, you get the chance to return back in time. But once the coffee gets cold, you must be back. No, you are not supposed to change the world with uh, time travel. No, you are supposed to uh, interact with your loved ones or something like that. So this book contains the four short stories. And there are also more stories in the next installments, but I would love to read the first one first. And another book that I got for cheap and I regret it, and I will definitely replace this edition, and it's House Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. I actually like how the cover looks, it's very beautiful, however, I just feel, I just feel that this is incredibly cheap. And uh, just look how everything looks on the inside, so you have a lot of free space over here. This does not spark joy, well, except for the cover and, of course, the content. Obviously, what is this book is about? So this book is about a young girl named Sophie Hatter. She is the eldest of three sisters. She lives in a country called Ingeri, not to be confused with Hungary. It's the kingdom where magic is the norm. And one day Sophie gets a curse, so she is 18 and she becomes an old woman. And in order to leave the curse, she goes to a mysterious moving castle and she meets uh, three inhabitants of said castle, Hal himself, who the moving castle belongs to, he is Apprentice Michael, and uh, Calcifer, the fire demon, who is bound to the fireplace. And in order to leave the curse, Sophie goes through a lot of adventures. I have the Georgian version of the book, but I'm a slow reader in Georgian, I'm incredibly slow, so I found the Russian version in the library. I read uh, the Russian version in two days, and I got myself the English version just for collection, but yeah, I need to replace this edition, I don't like it. I will no longer buy cheap books, even if I really wanted them. No, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Lesson learned for life. So I bought these two books together, and after I did, came my trip to Italy. The vlog is on my channel, by the way. I flew to Italy by transit. I mean that I stopped somewhere before I flew to Italy, and I stopped at Istanbul airport in Turkey, and uh, I saw there was a bookstore, and obviously I had to check it out. I checked it, and there was this one book that caught my attention. Well, mostly because uh, I heard uh, the book Leo mention that book. I did not remember what she said about the book, but I did remember that she mentioned that book. I'm halfway through that book. The book is The Courage to be Disliked by Ishiro Kishimi and Fumi Take Koga. I apologize in advance because uh, Japanese uh, names aren't that easy for me to pronounce. Oh, I'm halfway there. Yeah, I just remembered my youth by referencing that uh, Bon Jovi song again. <laughs> okay, what this book is about. So basically this book is a dialogue between a youth and a philosopher. Youth visits the philosopher to discuss life and philosophy and things like that. And uh, the philosopher uh, addresses the Alderian psychology. To be honest, I've never heard of the Alderian psychology, or maybe I've heard back in university but did not remember. So I, I own a book by Plato called The State, 
And basically that book is a dialogue regarding how the state should be. And this is akin to uh, the state, but it's much easier to read and perceive. I do really like the book. However, some points were kind of predictable to me. There were nothing new, but luckily these were only one or two points. A lot of points were kind of new to me. They offered a very interesting perspective. I don't necessarily agree with uh, everything, but they're still worth uh, checking out. However, the title is kind of misleading. When I heard the title The Courage to be Disliked, I first assumed that this book is about how to state your opinion, how to stand your ground, even if people around you grew to dislike you and so on. And uh, actually no. Spoiler, that's not what exactly the book is about. But on the other hand, I only read the half of the book. Maybe uh, the book would uh, live up to the title a little bit later. And even if it doesn't, it, it uh, still offers some interesting points and uh, some parts of, of the book do reflect the title. But just a little. Yes, this is an interesting find in the Turkey airport. Now off to the books that I bought in Italy. Oh, before I start, if you are a tourist in Rome, in Italy, and if you want to buy books there, here's where you should go. If you know where's the Pantheon, the one that says Agrippa, then definitely you have found the bookstore. So you go to the right where the taxis are and you go up. And once you reach the Argentina Street, or however it was called, sorry, I did not remember, you find the bookstore. This is where it is. Now straight to the books. You have seen this one is my uh, travel vlog, just like this one. This one I did not buy in that shop. I just found it in an underground shop. I checked it and there weren't many interesting English books. I only recognized this one. This has been in my wish list for a long time. And I decided to finally buy the book in Italy instead of buying it in Georgia. And uh, the book is The Lottery and the Other Stories by Shirley Jackson. I've heard of Shirley Jackson a lot and I wanted to read her stories. I've heard of Haunting of the Hill House and some other book that I don't remember the title, but I do remember that it was about a family that uh, had a quite a questionable reputation or something. I think it was related to murder. All right, anyway. So this is a compilation of short stories and the most famous being the lottery. Spoiler, in this edition, lottery is basically the last uh, uh, sorry. The stories are incredibly short and apparently they're easy to read. And uh, I do recognize that I did overlook uh, short stories and this is a good that I have short stories over here. I got interested uh, in this book because of the titular lottery. So this story is about a small town or village, I don't remember exactly that is happy when there's a harvest, but in order to have a set harvest, they need to sacrifice someone. And while I was reading the annotation for the lottery, I suddenly realized I'm familiar with that story. I have seen it somewhere. And then I instantly remembered when I have seen it before. This is the basis of the South Park episode that featured the headless Britney Spears. Oh yeah, Sp sorry for the spoiler that she's headless. This is definitely the, uh, one of the most uh, terrifying South Park episodes that I have ever seen. Sure, I do recognize that I haven't seen uh, too many South Park episodes, but this one definitely terrified me. It was, yeah, scary. I have a mantra, don't buy anything abroad that you can buy in Georgia. And yeah, I violated it when I bought this book. However, there was a difference in edition. The, the, in Georgia, I found the Penguin Leather Bound edition. Oh, it was the Cloth Bound edition, sorry. And this one is a Penguin Modern Classics. This is my second um, Penguin Modern Classics. The first one I have is The Crucible by Arthur Miller. Right now, I'm not in the mood for the classics, but I still going to check it out sooner or later. So on my channel, I have a video where I go through my Goodreads want to read list. Next comes the book that I definitely wanted to read. And I was like, I need to buy this. I definitely want to read this. And this is definitely when I reached that red bookstore, whose title I don't remember. 
this was the first book that I noticed and I was like, I need it. I'm How I need it, I need to buy this. I'm definitely getting it. And the book is The House in the Silurian Sea by TJ Klune. Sure, I would have loved to have the US cover. It looked just so much, fu- much more fun. And this is the UK edition. But you know what? My choice was limited. Therefore, I grabbed the UK edition. I've heard uh, people compare this book to Miss Peregrine's Home for for Peculiar Children. And uh, to be honest, while it's an interesting comparison, because uh, this one also features an isolated house on an island with the children who have magical powers. But I still hope this one is uh, different. Well, because Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children was uh, very dark and it was very mystical and uh, at times horrifying. I hope this is definitely the opposite. Well, the cover suggests so. So this is about a guy named Linus Baker who leads a quiet life, who has everything. And he works at the department in charge of magical youth. And one day he is sent uh, to this orphanage, to this mysterious house in the Silurian and see. Well, there are six dangerous children, including the Antichrist. But then also he meets uh, the children's guardian. And uh, this man finds himself torn apart between duty and dreams. I just find this annotation to be terrific. I, this is definitely one of the books that I'm definitely going to read very soon. Can't wait to read it. And yeah, the cover is actually very nice. Not what I expected, but it's still cool. Now, next comes the book that I read the last year that I actually had borrowed. I read it. I just wouldn't go to bed until I have finished it. And uh, finally, in Italy, I found a copy. I knew I had to have it. I needed this in my collection. And the book is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I just love this cover very much, although I really don't like the sticker. But yeah, my choices were limited and I had to go along with it. So, the case is closed. Five years ago, a schoolgirl named Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Sal Singh. Everyone knows that it was him, so the case was closed. Five years later, the schoolgirl, Pippa, she selects uh, the case of Andy and Sal as her school project and she realizes that there's more to the story than is officially known and she starts her own investigation. Even though that I know what happened in the book, even though I know who is the killer and blah 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 blah, it was still uh, very much fun to read and I definitely would uh, read it again because it's so much fun. It's solid young adult mystery novel. I recommend it. I also love how interactive this book really is. Well, because you have messages, you have uh, exams for planners and so on. You have everything in this book here. The messages. I do want to point out that there's, this is the original UK version. There's also an adapted American version, which as far as I know is set in the US, so if you're looking for original version, you should pick up this one. Let's move on. So the next book, just like uh, The House in the Silurian Sea, appeared in my want to read list on Goodreads and I knew very well that I really really wanted to read it. I mentioned it multiple times, especially in my books with music themes videos and so on. I have already read this author this year. This is the second book that uh, caught my eye in the shop and I was like, yes, yes, I need it so much. Finally, I have it. And this book is I Was Born For This by Alice Osman. So this is my second Alice Osman book. The first one was Radio Silence. For Angel, life is about one thing, the Ark, a pop rock trio of teenage boys taking the world by storm. Being a part of the ARC's fandom has given her everything she loves. Her friend Julia, her dreams, her place in the world. Jimmy owes everything to the ARC. He is their frontman and playing in a band with his mates is all he ever dreamed of doing. So you have a fangirl and the lead singer of the band and eventually they cross paths. Once I read this annotation, I immediately knew I need the book very much. I definitely want to read it because music themes in general are for me and the crossover of a fangirl and the frontman, yes, 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 I really need it. How I need it. Okay, so 
I filmed the book haul on March 27, 2024. I'm editing this video on March 29, 2024 and I have read I was born for this and I have a lot to say about this book. Sure, it got my attention because I was interested in how the meeting of a fangirl and the band member would turn out. Spoiler alert, it exceeded my expectations and the book isn't exactly what it seems to be about. I'm going to talk about this book separately. I will make a separate video and I genuinely think that this is a stronger book than uh, Radio Silence, although I really like Radio Silence. Yes, a separate video on I was born for this by Alice Osman is coming soon. Once again, I have a lot to say about this book and also some real life assumptions about uh, band members and fans. Yeah, I'm going to address it all. I just really enjoy this cover very much. And I also recognized one fact about Alice Oseman. She is the only author in my library who is younger than me. We are both uh, 1994 babies, however, I'm a June baby and she is an uh, October baby. Can you imagine every single author, even if there is a few years difference, they are all older than me and Alice Osman is the only one younger. You know, there's this uh, metal band called Beyond the Black. One of the reasons I remember this band, one of the reasons, is because this band featured at least one member and it's the lead singer who is uh, younger than me. She is. It's just that I got used so much that all the singers, all the other band members and all the writers and everybody that uh, they are older than me and finally I have somebody who is younger than me. <laughs> Nothing special, just an observation. I went to that bookshop twice. On the first day I only bought three books and uh, on the second day I bought two. I saw this book and I originally did not want to buy this book because of the cover. I thought I would buy it somewhere else, but I was in a hurry and when you are in a hurry, your thoughts get mixed. And when I was back to the hotel, I knew, I knew I had to go back to that bookstore and needed to buy that book. After all, I do collect books by this author and definitely I'm planning to read this and finally I found the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I like this edition much more than the editions of Lord of the Rings that I own because the font over here is very big. I don't think I, I need to explain what this uh, book is about. Everybody knows uh, the plot of The Hobbit. Okay, I do gonna remind you that there's a huge mountain with uh, lots of treasures and gold and there's this dragon that guards it. And there are dwarves who, to whom the mountain and the treasures belong. And there's this little hobbit who gets hired as the burglar in order to reclaim their dwarves' homeland. And there's lots of adventures, lots of singing and lots of perils and blah, blah, blah. So this is our gateway to Middle Earth. And definitely this is something I want to read this year. My friend lives in the UK and she said she would she's planning to go back to Georgia and I wanted to ask her to bring me The Hobbit. No need to do that anymore. I bought The Hobbit in Italy and I'm fine with this edition. Well, at least it's still Harper Collins, just like the rest of the books that I own, except for The Letters of Tolkien. And that's the book I definitely want to replace. I would love to get myself the new edition of Letters of Tolkien, the, the 2023 edition. Yes, I'm glad that I got The Hobbit. So I read The Hobbit in Russian and I'm now collecting the Tolkien books in English and yes. Next is The Silmarillion, I guess. Oh yeah, that definitely sounds scary. The Silmarillion is hard for me even in Russian. I just can't imagine how it's going to be for me in English. Yeah. Sounds scary. And finally, the last book that I bought in that bookstore. This is also a book that I had read in Russian and I decided to read it again in English. I've, I kept thinking of this book and I thought, yeah, I would love to read it again in English. And I found it and I took the chance. And the book is The Shining by Stephen King. So definitely this is the first and so far the only Stephen King book that I own in both English and Russian. The deal is that 
if I bought myself a Stephen King book in the one language or another, I don't really want the copy in another language. However, The Shining, yeah, I did want. So the plot revolves around uh, this hotel named Overlook, who, the mysterious isolated hotel with a criminal past and uh, with uh, lots of go demons. And there's also this uh, family consisting of mother, father and uh, son. The dad gets the job uh, at the hotel. He has to stay there for a few months and he takes his wife and son there. The, the father is an alcoholic and he has anger issues. And there's also the son who, who shines. Basically, he has magical powers. The demons, they try to get the father to their side while the boy opposes them. Now, when I think about it, I would also love to have the talisman in English. That would be really cool. And so finally, uh, the last book in this video. So I bought it on my way back home at the Istanbul airport. I went to the same bookstore where I, where I had bought uh, The Courage to be the Slide. And of course, there were a, a lot of new books there. And I saw this book. I just not liked the edition very much. And this was definitely the book Leo's favorite book, one of them. And it also has a very interesting annotation. Actually, there were two books that I wanted to buy, this one and another one. I chose this one. And this book is Vicious by V. E. Schwab, Victoria Schwab. Yes, finally, I got myself a Victoria Schwab book. Didn't think that that would happen. But yeah, here I am holding this book in my hands. I just love this edition very much. It's very beautiful. So this story is about the academic rivals. So you have uh, Victor and Ellie, Eli or something. They started out as college roommates. They were brilliant, arrogant, lonely boys who recognized the same ambition in each other. They had a shared uh, interest in adrenaline and as far as i know they get magic powers once they have a near-death experience at first they become friends but uh, as time goes on they become enemies and they try to destroy each other and uh, 10 years later one is out of prison and the other tries to eliminate everyone with a superpower and yeah it was a tough choice for me at the airport i was choosing between vicious and Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I really liked Caraval, but then I remembered that I already have The Night Circus at home and I still didn't finish it and I need to continue. And the Vicious on the other hand sounded much more exciting. So I went with Vicious. And this is one of the books that I definitely want to read as soon as possible. So yeah, another purchase at the Istanbul airport. I also went to the bookstore in the Rome airport, but I did not like anything there. And finally, before we finish, let's go a little bit through my stationery. So this is the Rome pen that I showed in Italy vlog. And this is the pen, multiple color pen. This, so you have, for example, the red one, you do this and Yes. So in Tbilisi, it's hard for me to find the uh, good planners. Therefore, I got myself two. Yeah, I know that this one says study planner, but I do not study anymore. However, on the inside, these planners are the same. It's just this one says weekly planner and this one says study planner. Needless to say, I like this one more. For now, these two planners are going to rest in the drawer. I'm not going to use them yet not the time for it their time will come and this is the five minutes diary it's a quick and easy journal so this is how it looks on the inside on the left you have morning thoughts you have today i woke up feeling this will make today a good day today i'm glad that and today my big question is and you write down things and then you have evening thoughts i love that this happened to me today today i learned i actually wrote I, today I learned nothing. Yes, I did write that. I feel grateful for and reflections of the day. You don't need to lead this diary every single day. You can choose when you write things down. By the way, I bought all of these in the shop called the Tiger. This is the Danish shop. Yeah, Denmark, the homeland of Lego and the, the planners. I wish we had said planners and tiger here in Georgia. 
it's hard to find the proper stationery here. And that's all. These are all the books. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What are the books that you bought recently? Let me know down in the comments. See you next time. Goodbye.